All right, guys, so I'm sure a lot of you are curious, when are you gonna make your greatest gains in the gym? When are you gonna put on the most amount of size, the most amount of muscle? And there is an actual time when you will build the most amount of muscle and when you will pack on the most amount of size. Your most mass gain in time, the most mass gain in time you'll ever go through in the season will be is whenever you go from a cut, whenever you've been at your lowest body fat ever, when you go from a, a cut back into your bulk and you go from doing that style of training to this whole new style of training, whenever you go from that transition, just this small tiny line where you go from cut, completely shredded competition lane, when you go from that cut to that bulk straight after, in those few weeks that you go from a cut to a bulk, you will make your greatest gains. And that's why if you go from a cut and you you go to a competition or whatever, you don't want to be taking a few weeks off the gym. You want to go straight from your cut back into your bulk. But most importantly, get back into your training. And this isn't just for me. Like, obviously, I noticed this. And I remember whenever I went from a cut into a bulk, you know, I, obviously, I'm not a fucking mass monster. But whenever I went from a a cut back into a bulk like I was packing on fucking size so quick now obviously a lot of it's going to be glycogen pumping back into muscle some of it's going to be fat but for the most part I have put on a lot of muscle and people were saying to me like are you on fucking steroids and like it's not not a lot of people but some people are saying that because not because of how fucking massive I got but it's the amount of size that I put on from being that way from being that skinny that that pumped up in just a matter of weeks and it's the how quick I did it now I'm not saying I'm fucking skinny like I'm 200 pounds and I've got a lot of size but I'm just saying I'm not fucking ridiculously big so if you want to find out when you'll make your greatest gains that's why it's good to cut because you know it promotes your body to get in the habit of going through a cut losing fat but it also helps you pack on a lot of size in that period of time if you notice whenever you're bulking you just sort of feel like you're not really going anywhere after a certain amount of time, like usually about the 8 to 12 month range. You know, whenever you're first into your bulk, like the first three months, you feel like a fucking beast. Everything's going up, strength's going up, everything's just bump, 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 bump. But you'll notice after you've went for a long time into your bulk, everything sort of feels like it's slowing down. And I think that's a great time to cut. And it's a great time to change up what you're doing. And then whenever you get shredded and you go from that cut back into that bulk, that's when you put on the most amount of size. And a lot of pros have said that. I remember hearing Dorian Yates say it. And I know this for myself. And you will see it with people who are on YouTube. If you see some of them who go from a cut back into a bulk, they will put on an amazing amount of size. And that's whenever you put on the most amount of size.